animal videos are always going viral I'm on the web. I'm being distracted by the cuteness that I'm holding right here. You got to check out this possum video that has over 62,000 views on YouTube. Oh my goodness, look at that. So cute. Who knew baby possums really love watermelon? I think possums are adorable. They freak people out. They're all over Houston. I don't, I don't know why people hate them. I love them. I think they're cute. They're a necessary part so of the folks, animal kingdom. <laughs> maybe rabies is one reason to not love them. Uh, so folks, if you love animals as much as we do here at Houston Life, you are in luck because today we are starting off the show, as we mentioned, with a walk on the wild side with some animals you might not see very often. Suzette Stidden with SNS Exotic Animals is here and she's brought along a few of her very best friends. Hi, Suzette. Hi. How are you? Nice to, ha nice to have you on the show. Okay, so I am absolutely in love with this wallaby. Can we take them out of the pouch so we people can, can see? We can. All right, Derek, I'm going to let you... You've been, oh, <laughs> just, oh. Like, just like he would do in the wild, going yeah, into. He's going back in mama's pouch. Come on, sweetie. Oh, wow. So he's how, going. how is a wallaby different uh, than a kangaroo? The kangaroo will get about six wow. feet, oh. and he's only oh. going to get about three, three and a half feet. So how rare are the albino ones? Very rare. Sweetie? They're wow. only maybe about a 10% is, is albinos. Now, they come from Australia, Australia. right? Are there any other regions of, the, uh, regions of the world where they can be found? They also come from, like, New Guinea. They okay. come from New Guinea. What do they eat? That right now, he's on a bottle, but they'll actually they graze. So they're going to graze on leaves and grass. And well, I notice the teeth are kind of flat. So right. kind of so that's a grazing tooth. It's not like carnivore teeth where they're going to be oh, pointing. So and is it common for them to be this well socialized? Because it, he seems very comfortable and friendly. And I'm at, like, stranger danger. <laughs> well, because we raise them to be like this because we do petting zoos and different things like that, birthday parties, so we have to have them very sweet. And real quick, I think one of the, the interesting things is the tail. What, it can back up on its tail if it needs to. And right, it, it can back up like that and actually kick with the front feet. Oh, to where he can, sleep. you know, <laughs> haul off a predator or something like that. Okay, well, so should we so put cute. him away and check out some other animals? Let him go back to his pouch. All right, so little cute. man. Now, does what he like it? going into the pouch? Because it reminds him of, of a, mama's, a mama's pouch. pouch. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Oh, wow. Woo. He's going to go. He's so, cute. so cool. I know, so cute. So the next animal that we're going to see is with the African pygmy hedgehog. Okay, I'm going to hang him right there. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're just gonna, wow. Maybe we can hand him off to somebody, little wallaby. Okay, now this hedgehog, when my sister was uh, younger, she always wanted a pet hedgehog. And they are adorable, but they're also kind of sharp, right? They are a little prickly, but once they come out, I mean, they lay the quills down. And this is an African pygmy hedgehog. So is this fully grown? This is actually a baby. They'll get eight to 10 inches full grown. Wait, where's its oh, face? Actually face is right here. I don't know if you guys at right home can really see him. Nose. But their defense. Oh, wow. Finger down they're, a little bit. Yeah, their defense is to what? Curl up in a ball? Curl up in a ball. Yes, ma'am. There, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there he is. There is his little face. <laughs> Look at that little face. So, as Jennifer was mentioning, the defense mechanism is to curl up into a ball and to. Uh... It, it'll become real hard, and if something goes to grab it, they're only going to grab it once. Once, because of all the little it's spikes. All the little spikes on them. His little face is He's really so cute. cute. Okay, so can we move on to the next <laughs> little creature that we have, the sugar glider? I was fascinated by this one. Yeah, the sugar glider um, is uh, in this little pouch. Suzette, if you could just <laughs> hold and it it's going to go quick, so be prepared. <laughs> now, a sugar, sugar glider... Sugar gliders actually come from Australia. You hear, do you want to hold this hold one? I want to hold them. Yeah. Okay, and he's fast because he got loose in our... Oh, oh, oh. Wow, he got loose in our green room, and uh, he's about to get loose in the Galleria. Just go like this. Oh, wow. Kind of let him walk hand over hand with you. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, careful. You got him. You got him. I don't want to squish him. Okay. You're not going to squish him. Oh, stay there, little guy. Please don't get loose. I wow. know. Please don't get yeah, loose. Maybe we should move on to the next one. I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. He's doing really good. Oh, wow. Okay, here. Have him back. Okay. Okay, but let's talk while you have them. Um, okay. it, it's what, native to Australia? Native to Australia, Indonesia. So I'm going to assume pretty good night vision with the big eyes. They're nocturnal. They're, and they're nocturnal. So these lights are probably driving it crazy, right? No, not really. Oh. But, and they're also a marsupial. They're actually related to the wallaby. Really? This actually has a pouch where if she was, uh, had babies, she would <gasps> keep them in the pouch like the kangaroo. Can you turn just oh. a little bit so the cameras can see the pouch is right there? It looks like a little hole in the stomach yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Can you see it? Okay. Wow. That's where she would carry her babies. Okay, we, 
We only have a few minutes left, Suzette, okay. not to cut you off, but why don't we move on because you have glider. a few more really right. cool so things. We've got what the, the tortoise. Okay. This, so, the baby so this version. Is a tiny, tiny tortoise you've got here. here. I'm gonna let you hold that and I'm gonna go around and do that. <gasps> now how old is this little one, Suzette? That little one is one month old. Whoa. And this is what he's gonna look at so cute. like when he's wow. four years old. Holy smokes, it's big. And this isn't even full grown yet. <gasps> Wait, 40 years wow. old? Wow. Four. This oh, four. Four years four. old. He's going to get a mess there. That's okay. We have a carpet cleaning segment coming up later today. <laughs> we really do. So oh, look at wow. the comparison then between a month old and four years. That is incredible. And these can live for... These like, can live over 100 years. That is incredible. And so when people buy these, what they don't realize is, you know, they're buying their kid a little pet or something, and 100 years later, they still have a pet. It's going to last generations. Gonna, yes. All right, let's so leave we got about two more minutes. So more let's, minutes. Let's okay. move on to... Okay, this one I'm going to back away from because you guys know I am not a snake fan. So I'll let you hold the snake. Snake's not <laughs> so going to you're, you. you're, you're bringing I'm going to you hold the little one. Really? You can hold the big one. Okay. I'm always thinking I'd rather hold the big one than the little one. No, not going to work. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> this is a ball python. They originate from Africa. Oh, wow. It's a python? So is it called the ball python because it's just like all nestled up? Right. They roll up in a ball as their defense. Okay. So he's freaked out right now then. Not really freaked <laughs> out. It's just normal. And this is what the design on the design is. Oh, that's what wow. one, that's what he's going to look like. Not the color oh, exactly, cool. but in like four years from now. Jennifer, come on, it's not going to hurt you. I, can, I will touch the back of the snake. Why don't you hold that. it? I think no, you should thank face you. your fears and hold it. No, not going to happen. Okay, just about a minute left. I'll uh, hold. I'll hold the bearded dragon. I'll go okay. for that one. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. So part of your mission. That was just like then, hanging out. Part of your mission at uh, SNS is to help educate the public about these animals and yes, where they sir, come from, to, right? Because you can buy, you know, animals at several places, and you got to know how long they're going to live, what their habitat is going to require. This one is require. so cool. Okay, is it going to go as fast as it was doing with you? No. Oh, he's a cutie. <gasps> so that's about a month oh, old wow. bearded dragon, and this is one that's about three years wow. old. Wow. And these... Okay, I'm going to turn it around so you can see. And these actually originate from Australia as well. Wow, oh, wow. the difference. And if you see, you see under his chin there where it's getting real black, that's a sign of being a male. And he'll, he'll actually get real black when he's trying to get a female. Suzette, we're just about out of time. Is there any chance you could show us that uh, tarantula? tarantula? Because I... Whoa, wow. The turtle is... <laughs> Making its way. This tortoise <laughs> felt something on my foot. It's just a and, tortoise, folks. Don't be alarmed. And this is Rosie. Oh, that's cool. You could put Rosie and, on my shoulder. That's all good right, right there. And, oh, wow. Are you sure you want to do okay this? With the, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not okay with the snake, but I'm okay with the tarantula. That and that's a rose here tarantula. They come from uh, Chile, South America. Okay, bye-bye Can tarantula. I give you um, this one? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, Suzette, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, freaking us out just a little bit. Uh, this was I really, know. really cool. If you guys would like more information on any of the exotic animals you've seen today, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, and that tarantula is going places. And